backing. As, as Andrew said, I interviewed three leaders of three of the main Iraqi resistance groups earlier this summer. And uh, I think, you know, the image that is portrayed of the Iraqi resistance in the West is a very misleading one. The idea that the Iraqi resistance is, for example, mainly, attack, mainly involved in attacks on other Iraqis, let alone the civilian population, is completely wrong. Even the, even the Americans' own figures show that the large majority of attacks are, in fact, on US and other coalition forces. So I think what we're seeing is b the beginning of a process that will shape the future of an independent Iraq. Now, it's obviously not the job of the peace movement to endorse the resistance. That is a matter for Iraqis. But it is important that I think we support their right to resist. And And we need to make sure that their voices, because they are key players in, the future, in a future independent Iraq, are heard outside the country.